Good morning, grade 11. It's Wissam Sharafi, your math teacher. Today, we are going to explain antiderivatives. You used to find the derivative of a function. Today, I'm going to teach you how to find the function knowing its derivative. The language we should know is big F of X is the function where f prime of x or small f of x is its derivative. To recall the derivative, suppose we have f of x, big F of x, equal x cubed plus 4. The derivative will be 3x squared plus 0. Another example, m of x equal 5. The derivative will be 0. This is the integration sign, the sign we use to find the original function, knowing the de derived function, and you write it as f of x, big F of x, the original function, plus a constant y plus c, because you know that the derivative of any constant is zero. The first example, the derived form is 3x squared, the integration of 3x squared dx and dx, because x is the variable, the derivation is dy dx, you know that. So the integration of 3x squared dx equal x to power 3, the original function, plus a constant. There are certain rules we should know in order to find the integration. The first one is... We want to find the integration of a variable x to any power dx. You just add to the power of the variable 1 and you divide by the result. If the power is n, you add 1, it becomes n plus 1. Then you divide by n plus 1. Don't forget the c. In this case, n shouldn't be minus 1. To apply... Suppose I want to find the integration of x squared dx, x to power 2, as we said, you add 1 to the 2, it becomes x to power 3, and you divide by 3, don't forget the constant. Another example is integration of x to power minus 3, also you add 1, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, and you divide by minus 2, don't forget the constant. You may express it as 1 over minus 2x to power 2 plus c if you want to express x as a positive power. A second rule, when you have a number or a constant before the variable, it's the same as the first, but you, what you should do is you take this constant outside the sign of integration and you perform normal integration. For example, 3 x to power 3, the integration of 3x to power 3 dx is equal to 3. You take this 3 out, the integral sign, x3 dx, and you perform what you did before. x to power 3, you add 1, it's x4 over 4 plus c. Don't forget to multiply by the 3. Here, you don't have to multiply the c by 3 because c or 3c the same derivative is 0. Rule number 3, integration of sum or difference is the sum or difference of integrations, which means if I want to find the integration of x to power 5 minus x cubed plus x squared dx, I may express it as integration of x5 dx minus integration of x3 dx plus integration of x2 dx and you perform each alone. x5, you add 1, divide by 6. 4, you add 1, divide by 4. I mean, x to power 3, you add 1, becomes 4, divide by 4. x to power 2, you add 1, it becomes x to power 3 by 3. Don't forget the c. To practice, you're going to solve from your textbook volume. Volume 2, page 147, exercise number 4. The parts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Uh, thanks for listening. Hope you understand. Uh, see you next time.